would you please welcome to the stage the director of The Big Short, Adam McKay. Uh, I was an English major in college and uh, did not know much about finance or economics and slowly started to learn that 80% of politics, which I've always been involved in, uh, relate to finance, which is how I found this book, uh, read the book, and uh, you know, begged to do it as a movie. There are some remarkable characters in this story who were brought to life, which some great performances. Tell us, just preview for people here, some of the people who were involved and the actors who did bring them to life. Well, I, I, one of the things you're going to see here is you're not going to know the real people that they're playing. But um, trust me, Christian Bale is doing a spot-on performance of a gentleman by the name of Dr. Michael Burry, who is, you know, probably has a 180 IQ, listens to death metal, uh, never leaves his office, and lives in a world of numbers. And the reason this guy was able to see it, and you'll see in the movie, is that he wasn't a part of our 24-hour news and celebrity culture. He was completely outside of it. And all of the characters sort of had that advantage in that they weren't part of a kind of a mainstream, consensual culture. So how does a director move from Ron Burgundy to this movie? <laughs> Uh, that is a great question. Well, you know, I mean, in a weird way, Anchorman 2, as silly as it was, was about our media becoming ratings driven. Um, but we really wanted, the reason we made that movie was we wanted to make Ron Burgundy responsible for most of our news journalism in the U.S. becoming all for profit and for money. Uh, and that actually plays into this movie. I'm actually talking with Will about doing a movie with him and John C. Riley, where they're, uh, to uh, uh, hapless guys who go down to protect our border from Mexico uh, and sort of a big silly comedy. So I love comedy, I love to laugh. Uh, this was just a book that I read that it was like, this has to be a movie. But you'll see, it's not all tragedy and drama. There's, and by the way, you should be forewarned, there's four minutes in this movie of just straight pornography. So be ready if there's children out here. I see a lot of children in the back for some reason. Really, it's really tasteful well. pornography, it really is. It's black and white. I'm just trying to wonder which cut of the movie did I actually see, but anyway. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, like, the difference between what the US went through and Ireland and Iceland and Spain, it's all connected. And there's really no difference in the story. Um, what you realize is it's these systems that get created, and, and I don't want to say too much about the movie because you're about to watch it, but there, there's a lot of pornography. But besides that, um, it, there really isn't, I, I think we like to have villains that are individuals, and I think right now what's happened is we've created a system that's a villain, and it's important not to get caught up in different personalities. And, I think it's the same thing that happened here, that happened in the States. I think the US kind of <laughs> created the virus, and I think a lot of people bought into it. Although you're up against a local hero, Lenny Abrahamson, for the best director in the Oscars, we wish you the best of luck with that as well. Thank you very much, Adam McKay.